Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll see uh, the use of current mirrors in processing signals. <clears throat> so, in in our class, in last lecture, we studied about current mirrors, and I'm considering a typical current mirror circuit. So here I have a current mirror, which is a uh, PMOS current mirror, and here I have a load resistor, and from this point I'm taking output. So here I'm applying input signal V in, calling this as M1, M2, and M3, and this is connected to VDD. <coughs> so for this particular example, I'm considering lambda as zero. Or the R naught is infinity. Now, uh, the the purpose of this lecture is to discuss how current mirrors can process signals. We know that current mirrors are basically used for biasing. Uh, we can generate any bias current we want by uh, depending on the uh, aspect ratio of the transistors which we are used in the mirror. Now, consider uh, this is carrying a reference current and here you are getting an output current right and we know uh, from the principle here uh, i out so if uh, since this there is a pmos current mirror i can write i out as w by l of 3 uh, by w by l of 2 into i ref this is what we discussed before or i out by uh, the current through m3 transistor by current through i ref transistor sorry m2 transistor is the ratio of as uh, the uh, ratio of size of both returns w by l of 3 by w by l of 2 so uh, in this way we know that current mirrors will process dc currents in a similar way now if i am uh, if if this i ref is increased by uh, if the i ref is increased by a small current say some delta i a small current what will happen to i out we'll see uh, we'll just look at what will happen to the i out current so if the I reference current is increased by a small uh, quantity or if there is a small incremental change in the reference current, uh, the change in I out will be or uh, I out also will basically I out also will increase and that increase in I out is nothing but this incremental variation multiplied by W by L of 3 by W by L of 2. Right. So, uh, so when the reference current is incremented by a small amount, if there is a small incremental change in the reference current, the output current also will be incremented or uh, that the, there will be some increment in the output current also and that increment will be proportional to the ratio of W by L of 3 and W by L of 2. Right. So, in this sense, uh, we can say that uh, the circuit, this uh, current mirror circuit can even amplify small signal current because what I considered here is a incremental variation. So this can uh, actually amplify small signal current. So with that, if we want to write the voltage gain of this particular circuit. So what we are discussing here is if I ref is, in, uh, if there is a small incremental uh, current for this I ref, say some delta I, even the I out will be also incremented by the same amount delta, uh, delta I multiplied by the a factor here w by l of 3 by w by l of 2. So with that if you want to write the uh, gain expression for this above circuit gain expression av is nothing but v out by v in and if I am neglecting uh, if I am considering lambda is equal to 0 actually your v out is nothing but uh, current flowing through rl so I will consider that current as say some, some current i multiplied by rl. Now what is that current? that current should be the current flowing in the uh, the main branch or the reference current right so since i am writing small signal uh, um, output voltage the uh, the current flowing here i will use uh, some different color for that yeah the small signal current flowing here is nothing but gm1 into vn that is a current flowing here now since this is a current mirror this current will be uh, duplicated or this will be uh, replicated at this branch at this output branch but it will be scaled by the ratio of the transistor so i can write the i current as 
gm1 v in multiplied by w by l of 3 by w by l of 2. So I can write output voltage as v out is equal to gm1 v in into w by l of 3 by w by l of 2 into r or gain expression is gain is a v equal to v out by v in equal to g m 1 r l into w by l of 3 by w by l of 2. So why I have discussed this now is uh, today when we solve the uh, one problem in class we did not consider the scaling factor actually we should consider the scaling factor. The problem in the tutorial was like this you have current mirror circuit here this is connected to some bias from here you are taking the output voltage this is a V call this as M1 M2 M3 and M4 and we have written V out as current flowing in the output branch say this current is say some I current that uh, current multiplied by the small signal resistance seen at this point that is the parallel combination of R03 and R04. Now what is that current I? That current is actually the current flowing here multiplied by this uh, factor, scaling factor. What is the current flowing here? It is GM1 into V. In. So I is equal to GM1 V in multiplied by W by L of 3 by W by L of 2. So your V out is equal to GM1 V in W by L of 3 by W by L of 2 into R03 parallel R04. Or I can write voltage gain AV as GM1 R03 parallel R04 multiplied by the scaling factor. Uh, so when we did that in class we did not consider this particular factor but we should consider this factor by understanding that uh, small even if there is a small incremental change in the DC current the same the output current also will be changed by the fact uh, by the same amount multiplied by the factor of the, uh, the, as, uh, the ratio of the size of the transistors. So with that uh, you try to solve the problem. So what I discussed here is the use of current mirror and how current mirror uh, is used or how current mirrors can process signals. For that first I consider this circuit and here this current I considered as reference current and this as I out. So if there is a small incremental change in this reference current even I out also will have the same incremental change and if the size of the uh, transistors M2 and M3 are different even that change will be scaled by or multiplied by the ratio of the sizes. So I can write I out is equal to W by L of 3 by W by L of 2 into IRF. So since this is applicable for uh, yeah. Uh, so in that way I can say the, this circuit can be used to amplify even small signal current. So uh, with that I have written the small signal current here GM1 V. So the output current here will be equal to GM1 V multiplied by W by L of 3 divided by W by L of 2. Same thing I apply to the problem which we already solved in class. So try this and find out the answer for that. Thank you.